Hey everyone, I've been getting a lot of questions lately about any new products that I might have incorporated into my skincare routine, and there are two that I wanna talk about. They're not entirely new to me, but I haven't used them in about nine months, and I've just now begun to incorporate them back into my daily routine, and I'm really, really pleased with the results, and I wanted to show them to you. Both of these were influenced because I had heard products similar to them mentioned on either YouTube or through blogs that I read, and um, realized that I couldn't get the products and hunted through my own collection of skincare and realized I had something very similar already in my bathroom cabinet. So the first product that I want to talk about is by Dermaquest Skin Therapies and it's their, what is it called? Their Advanced B5 Serum. This is the travel size. Um, there you can get one that's bigger than this. And the reason why I hunted this down is because of a blog called Beauty Mouth. Beautymouth.com is written by a blogger named Caroline. Her last name is spelled H-I-R-O-N-S. Not entirely sure how to pronounce it, so I'm just going to err on the side of caution and spell it for you. I will link it down below. Uh, she is British. I think her Twitter name is British Beauty Blogger. Perhaps. I will find that out and also link that below. And uh, she had mentioned her must-have holy grail skincare product. It's called Hydraluron, and it's by Indeed Labs. And it is something you put on before you put on your moisturizer. And basically, in layman's terms, it just, it's sort of a moisture booster. It's not a moisturizer, but it enables the moisturizer that you put on after your this product it, it allows your skin to penetrate to not penetrate it allows the product to penetrate your skin better your skin to absorb it better and your moisturizer works more effectively i have been having serious problems with dry dehydrated skin i know i'm not drinking enough water i know this because i'm getting headaches i'm getting dry patches on my skin mostly here here and around my nose but that and the and the heat and the house and everything just I have dehydrated skin. I'm not entirely sure I actually have dry skin, but I do have dehydrated skin. And I was noticing, like I said, the dry patches and some flakiness. And I really thought Hydraluron was the answer to my prayers. And it might be, but I can't get my hands on it. It's at Boots, if you're in the UK. And it is carried, allegedly, in some Walgreens, but none in the state of Texas, apparently. So I couldn't get my hands on it. But then I started looking through what I already had in my bathroom, and I realized that what the ingredients were and what this product was described to be able to do was exactly the same thing as this advanced B5 serum. I just never really thought about it. So this is a clear little gel-like serum that you put on after you wash your face and before you put on your moisturizer. I use it day and night and it's made up primarily of sodium hyaluronate which is hyaluronic acid and this particular stuff also has B5 in it which is just another booster for the skin and um, it is able to hold a thousand times its molecular weight in moisture. So it's sort of like a little, it piggybacks, it carries the moisturizer and just brings it into your skin. I don't know where I'm going with this, but, um, and, it, and it makes your moisturizer work better. I, like I said, I use this day and night. It has made a huge, huge difference. The flakiness is gone, the dry patches are gone. I feel like, I don't even necessarily need to use as much moisturizer. My skin never has that tight feeling anymore. Um, it's fabulous. I love it. And now the other product that I wanted to use and didn't was um, I've been hearing people rave, excuse me, I've been hearing people rave all over YouTube and the internet about the benefits of glycolic acid. And I had tried using this product before when I still had really active breakouts and because my skin was just so raw, it, I couldn't use it. It was horrible. But I've gotten everything under control thanks to medication and um, a few new skincare products. And now I'm able to bring this back into the rotation. I'm really glad I did. So glycolic acid, great benefits, especially for normal to dry skin. It's supposed to brighten up your complexion. It actually, it's a chemical exfoliant instead of a physical exfoliant. And um, it gets rid of the dry patches and gives your skin glowiness and all that good stuff. And I really wanted to use liquid gold. I hear Ruth Crilly on A Model Recommends rave about it all the time. And I thought, well, hey, that I, her skin looks amazing. I want my skin to look like that. But then I realized I have stuff in my medicine cabinet. I need to use this. And I looked 
And I have actually two of these. One was sent to me by the company and one I actually bought before I even used it up. And this is their glycolic creamy cleanser or glyco creamy cleanser and it's 15% glycolic acid, which is a much higher concentration than you'll find in other products. The liquid gold I believe is 5%. Murad is about 5%. They have something like it. Now this isn't a serum like the liquid gold. It is a cleanser. It, it's intended to be used in one of two ways. One is as a daily cleanser, which I find to be too much for me. What I use it for is its second recommended usage. It even has it recommended on the bottle and that's to use it as an exfoliating mask. I've started using this once a week. I usually use it Sundays. I use this in the morning because I use Retin-A at night and I don't, I don't think you can combine the two. So glycolic acid in the morning, Retin-A at night. I've used this once a week for four weeks and now I'm gonna bump it up to twice a week and that's probably all I'm ever gonna do is twice a week. And what you do is you keep your face dry, you take off your makeup, of course, but then before you wash your face, you take this and you put it all over your face, avoid the eye areas and avoid this part of your nose and don't really let it get on your lips. And you let it sit on dry skin for about a minute. I will say, first few times you use it, it's not the most comfortable feeling. It feels exactly like a really intense lip plumper, that tingling, warm sensation, but all over your face. Wait for a minute. I know it's gonna feel strange, promise. Nothing's gonna go wrong. Your skin is not burning off. Um, if you really find it intolerable, start with 30 seconds, work your way up to a minute. The first time I did it, I got to about 45 seconds and then I thought, I should probably take this off. But I gutted it out another 15 seconds and when I washed it off, I realized my face had not turned red. There was no indication that it was um, uncomfortable. I think it just was really working. Now, after a couple of times, I don't really get that heavy tingling sensation anymore, which tells me that my skin's ready for twice a week. But anyway, it's great. I think I think this might even have done more for me than, than the serum, but I don't want to stop either one. All my dry patches are gone, my skin is much more glowy, and I have not had any new breakouts, knock on wood, um, since, well, I haven't had any really in a long time, but I, I haven't even gotten a little bump under the skin, nothing. Now, these are both by Dermaquest, and I've used a lot of the Dermaquest line before, and I do love them. They're paraben-free, they don't test on animals, they're made in the United States. Um, they're not really available so easily. Pretty much online is the way to get them. And you can find them in all, not just the Dermaquest site, but like, um, you know, beauty, beauty internet sites. And I will link a few below that I recommend. But um, there are other skincare lines that probably have a similar glycolic cleanser and if you can get your hands on one then grab it. I just happen to have these in my house and I'm going to start using what I already have. So if you know of products that are similar to either of these that you use and love please let us know because people from all over the world are watching this and what I can get readily maybe you can't and we can help each other out by listing some recommendations down there and um I hope this was informative. I hope you had a Merry Christmas and a great time with your friends and family, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.